My name is Douglas Spirot, and I am the PI of the Computational Mechanics and Material Science Laboratory in the Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering Department at the University of Florida. I am a Newton CE Ball professor, and I have been at the University of Florida since 2015. Our laboratory is focused on developing and utilizing computational modeling and simulation methods at the atomic and mesoscopic length scales to discover properties and behaviors of materials. We work primarily on metals, but have applied our methods to ceramics and hydrogels. Our goal is to understand the behavior of materials during extreme events, such as very high loading rate, shockwave propagation, high temperature, or high temperature gradients. These boundary conditions are important for aerospace, defense, and nuclear energy applications. At the atomic scale, our group utilizes what is known as classical atomistic simulations. In this simulation approach, individual atoms are represented as point masses, and an interatomic potential is used to model the interaction between atoms in the simulation. By performing atomistic simulations in this way, we can model tens of millions of atoms in a single simulation on high-performance computing platforms such as Hypergator at the University of Florida. This is much larger than what can be modeled with quantum mechanical simulations. These simulations can be applied to almost any class of materials. At the mesoscale, we employ two different simulation techniques. The discrete dislocation dynamics method can model the motion and interaction of dislocations. Dislocations are the carriers and reason for plasticity in metals, and thus these simulations are very important to understand yield strength and hardening in metals used in aerospace and structural applications. The face field simulation technique is used to model motion of interfaces. Often when subjected to high stress or high temperatures, internal interfaces within a microstructure will migrate. Changes in the microstructure may lead to changes in strength and failure resistance. I hire PhD students from different disciplines and backgrounds, but mostly I seek students that are interested in mechanics, material science, high performance computing, and view a computer as a research instrument. For those interested in getting involved or learning more, please find out more information on the Department of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering website.